continuing our series of interviews on the sidelines of the 25th anniversary Europe Money Vienna Conference. Um, I'm delighted to be joined by Vincent Chignot, who is the Head of Research at Generali Investments, based in Paris. Um, Vincent, welcome. Um, Thank you, Christopher. We have seen relatively limited, muted market reaction to events in the Middle East this year, I mean, uh, over the course of the last 10 days or so. To what would you ascribe that? Well, the first point is we had already a bombing of Saudi Arabia facilities, oil facilities, uh, in September. And we had a knee-jerk reaction, but it was very short-lived. So the market has gone through that experience already. Um, and therefore, this year again, um, the bias is toward the idea that we will get a de-escalation. And effectively, the first signs are in that direction. The second point I would mention is that the, the global economy is less sensitive, less exposed to higher oil prices. Uh, the US uh, economy in particular, the beta there has declined quite, uh, quite, quite strongly. The final point, I suppose, is that the market is a bit more complacent this year. Listen, the market last year spent the whole year worrying about the trade war, about hard Brexit, about the economic slowdown, and eventually we had this home run uh, in the equity market or risk assets overall. It was a blockbuster year. So the market has decided that um, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't pay uh, to, to, to worry too much at this point. Mm, interesting. It would be very interesting too if the result of this were an internal political change in Iran, which people are now talking about as a real possibility. Mm. This is not seen by the market as, no. uh, as something likely at this point. Um, again, the market sees that uh, the response from Iran um, has not been uh, very uh, aggressive um, and, and this is a sign of de-escalation that, that probably uh, will help this uh, regime in Iran to, uh, uh, to, to stay. Um, Central Eastern European region, South Eastern European region too, um, still enjoying generally pretty positive economic outlook across, across the board in most countries. Sure. Um, do you see any major threats to that in, as we move into the new decade? Well, I, I guess there's one common component, um, and that is inflation. I'm, I'm not talking about Russia. I'm talking about the uh, eastern part of the uh, EU. We've seen inflation creeping up. Um, that's led to a rate hike uh, in Czech Republic uh, last, last year. Um, we, we don't see that move continue very far, uh, but that, that, that is a threat for the region, that higher inflation uh, would uh, lead to uh, monetary policy tightening and that would hurt the cycle. So that, that's something we need to watch. Otherwise, you know, you have loads of idiosyncratic factors, different factors in different countries. Um, Hungary or the Czech Republic, for example, are very closely related to Germany, the auto sector, which we know has been suffering. Uh, those two countries have been quite resilient. They've been able to absorb this shock, uh, but it's something that uh, we need to, uh, to monitor uh, going, going forward. How will their industry um, adapt and will they keep their competitive uh, advantage? Uh, that, that's something we need to watch. Um, in Poland, I think the issue is probably different. You know, we have that Green Deal uh, that just came out uh, from the EU. Uh, Poland has not signed to the timetable uh, because they're still very dependent on coal. Uh, that, that could create some very significant tensions, uh, something that, that needs to be, to be watched. Uh, Romania uh, is another case. Uh, they have the dual deficit, uh, the, the rating, the investment grade rating is exposed and clearly losing that uh, would be a shock for, for this market. So that, that's what we need to work there. But I would say that overall, uh, the region is still doing fairly well, uh, has shown resilience to the slowdown in the um, uh, uh, European Union, um, and we see more room for convergence and, and catch up uh, in the region. Very good. A positive, a positive comment on which to end. Vincent, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Christopher.